right, everybody's back again, finally. Yeah. First, I got to apologize before you even get into, you know, Tom reading off his stuff here. <laughs> Last week's show, we will get published. There's a, a publishing issue that has nothing to do with us. We didn't fuck this one up. There's just, there's, <laughs> there's, a, there's an issue. And I, I, I can't, I can't fix I it. I hear you. They're working on it. We have a support ticket in, which Ooh. they've been updating from time to time with basically no information. The infamous support ticket. Yeah. So at some point they'll get to it. So nice. here we are. Power and Speed, Tom, what's phone number? Power and Speed, 908-751-0211. Like us on Facebook, damn it. Yes. Sounds good. Tad? Yep. Who's vibrating? That's Not it. Me. That's it. Yup. Yup. We're being stalked already. Oh, God. What's up, Jeff? Oh. Fireman Jeff rolling in for- Cops are here. Yeah, the cops are- Well, Jesus. He's, he's a fire guy. He's I was not a re- cop. I was reaching. That chair's all right. It ain't going to fall apart today. You're good. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. <laughs> So who's got what? I know Tom, you were out unfortunately with a with a passing. Yeah, yeah, I lost one of my best friends. Not a car guy, but uh, yeah, actually one of my real best friends. Yeah, yeah. kind of sucked. Condolences. That's Thank you. Uh, Thank prayer, you. Prayers, I know it sucks. Prayers yep. and condolences. Yep, yep. Good family. More and more of that shit happening, dude. There's just nothing good about it. I As know. we get older, it just you know, more and more people are checking out for one reason or another. It's just terrible. Yep. What's up? Uh, Tad's got that nobody home look in his eye. Because fun. <laughs> oh, well, there, there you go. Fudge? He said FUD. Did you mention FUD? <laughs> What's up, Alan? Oh. Read it on the bottom. Huh? I can't. Uh, so don't no, I can't. can't. Yeah, just... Sinatra? He's listening to Sinatra? <laughs> oh, come In on. the kiddie pool for dead air. I, yeah. All right. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Anyway. Uh, so what do we got? I want to talk about something first that, that I was quite, this is not a car thing, so to speak. But this is a car show. But I know, but this is a motor thing. A motor thing? Yeah. Oh, this car got stuffed in. And I, I was quite pleased. Um, I, I got stuck in a YouTube loop, you know, where you go from, you know, you're watching a video about something and the next thing you know, you're watching a video that doesn't have nothing to do with what you started. And then before you know it, 45 minutes later, you're watching something. That, were you clicking? Wait, wait. Yeah, I was going to say. Were you clicking on the related of course yeah. on the bottom? Yeah. It's and not it like just you takes got, you and the next thing you know. You didn't get stuck. You got sucked into oh, the vortex. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it was probably, probably every bit of an hour and 45 minutes of That's YouTube l- heaven. Just completely wasting time. So it, you lost it. I don't, I mean, I honestly can't even tell you where I got started and how I got in. I, I don't, I don't know where I jumped in. So tell us where you ended up. Where I ended up, it, it, it went through the sequence of whatever I was watching was car stuff and then it ended up in motorcycle stuff and then ended up in motorcycle stuff where people getting chased by the cops. Then it ended up with gangs of people getting chased by the cops. Then it ended up with people on dirt bikes and quads getting chased by the cops in, in the cities. City. Yeah. And then it went into hillbillies on dirt bikes getting chased by the cops, like kind of Dukes of Hazard style. You know, like they were, you know, they had places to go. Like the so cops were full, never getting It was them. full circle. Yes. But that made me, I mean, and I'm listening to a guy on a two-stroke bike. I was like, man, I love two strokes. It sucks that they're gone. And I said, let me see what, what's going on now. And I just bounced over to Yamaha. You can still buy a 250cc brand new 2016 dirt bike. 250 cc two stroke. Is it like you can YZ still buy, or they just reintroduced it? No, it's 2016. It's the new model. Yeah, yeah. Year. But did they have a 15, 14, yes, 13? Did they did? Absolutely, they did not stop them as near as I can tell. Like a YZ80. Well, yeah, but it's but a 250. A YZ250. Yeah, but, that, remember when YZ was the first one with a mono shock? Yeah, yeah. They oh. were. That was the baddest shit. Let me tell you, that thing will kick you in the ass, boy. Let me. Yeah. That's a. Uh, but I mean, and you just read about it. It says all the you know the heart racing thrill of a two stroke. I'm like, oh. I was like, so I, I, I might, you might, I might be fucked up in two weeks because I might have one to be all busted up. But I, are you gonna jump the front thing that you had me jump? Oh, on? I might jump the house. Oh, as long I don't know. As long oh. as I can video it, I go for it. Yeah, I'm, wow. I'm a fucking nut. It's been a long time, but I'm sure it'll come back. You know, it's like riding a bike, right? Yeah, it is like riding a bike. You know, you're completely exposed on a YZ, right? Yeah, you don't have the whole cage around you. Yeah, <laughs> no seats. So was I when I had street bikes. Yeah, I know. I didn't hit the ground as often then. Yeah, you weren't. But deer. You weren't there. You what weren't kind, forty. What though. kind of bike did you have back then? Um, back then, I had a CBR one thousand, dubbed the Hurricane. Hurricane. Because that was before they were cool enough to just be called CBRs. It was a it was a Hurricane. Very heavy motorcycle. <laughs> Very heavy. I remember that. But it was yeah. no roll cage. Trust me. Yeah, back then it was it was a good bike. It would go um it would go almost one hundred and seventy. I can tell you that. Did you go one hundred and seventy? No, it would ball as fast as it would go. Wow. And that's that's when you knew it had to go. When you got on Route 78 driving home and you put one arm on the tank and you lean forward and you had the thing pinned and you're just riding. And you really can't look up too much. Nope. Yeah. 
No, nope. just take you off the bike. Yep. So you're just like you're, you're looking out through the, and you're just going like as fast as the fucking thing will go. And then I remember the one night driving home, I came up on a dump truck that, and I, I just happened to notice something with no taillights. And I mean, almost ran right in the back of them, you know, going a ridiculous speed. But I just happened to catch it going by like, you know, a street light or near an exit or something. Right. And I saw the reflection of the taillights. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And honestly, that was, that was about it. Wake, woke you up. Yeah. Cause I mean, I just, when, when you can be that comfortable going that fast. You wouldn't have felt that. That's a problem. Yeah. See, but let me put this right No, down. but the terror just before impact would have been bad. Yeah, it would have been bad. You he wouldn't was, have had to think about it long, but yeah. it would have been bad. Yeah. Mike was a guy that wore leathers. Yeah. I'm out there doing that on 202. I'm like, I'm in jeans and t-shirt. If I go down, I'm going to be hurting. So it I backed out of it. Yeah. I was like, goes yeah, to show yeah. that you're stupid. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't get on my motorcycle and get go to 7-Eleven without bad. leathers on. Can't you cue the, uh. Well, that was for a different reason. Yeah. The, yeah. It fits, fits that application. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> there it was. <laughs> Poor Ted. <laughs> so that was my big deal. I think I'm going to go buy a YZ250. Hey, if you can do it, you should. I think I'm gonna. Is that one down, five up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I asked him should why be. before. That's and all he I said, know. He said, "I don't know. Void my life. It'll make me happy." <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I said. Hey, it'll make him they happy. They can't say it's a midlife crisis because you're already been having vets your whole life. So I thought you were gonna say because you passed midlife. <laughs> 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 Fucking assholes. No, I'm saying that's what they say about the vets. But he's always had vets. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah like that old bat, <laughs> the, the shriveled up bitch. Blah blah. blah. Mommy, what kind of car is that? That's called a midlife crisis. Go fuck yourself. Well, we know it ain't your mid, midlife crisis. No. You're not the guy riding down the street. You know, we were, I'll never forget this. My wife and I were driving home from the shore one year. And there's, and my wife's good looking. And there's a guy riding next to us in a Corvette and he's checking her out. Mm-hmm. And his toupee or whatever it was, might have been his real hair, is like dangling straight up in the air. And like, we're laughing at this guy and he's all styling, you know, I, I'm looking out the side of my, you know, my head. So he's not, he doesn't know I'm looking and she's like looking at him and his hair is all straight up. God, we were laughing. Corvette socks, Corvette sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, he did. The whole, wasn't Donald Corvette Trump, was it? shoelaces. Wasn't Donald Trump, was it? No, it wasn't Donald. Why you got to hate on Donald? Though? Yeah. Then you crunch all fired up. We don't need to get this ah, political mortis. direction. Oh, man. So that, that was my big find. That I, I found that, yes, you can still buy a real two-stroke. And nobody seems excited about this. I guess that nobody ever was excited. Into, into motorcycles. Like, the, the dirt bikes are just they're incredible. The can, power I ride it? can I ride it around a, a Hell yard yeah. real yeah, slow? No, you, can, into that fast you can't ride a two-stroke slow, you no, dick. You start riding it. There is no slow. No. That was going to be your point, and you never got to it. What? The chases, the chases, and then you realize why they're not good in chases. Because oh yeah. Well that, that was the reason that's one thing is bad with it, but I don't plan on getting chased by the cops. I got a ferry around here to ride where nobody's going to get me. Right. Um, they feel so good, but they're really, they're very fast. Right. They're, they're insanely very, very fast. quick, very quick, but they don't go fast. Cause and like the dirt, they, yeah. they were chasing this guy <laughs> and all he could do was, you know, take off and you go me, 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 through the gears and that's it. You're done. Yeah. You look for the next driver to take <laughs> off on 60 him. mile an hour and that's wide it. open. I mean, he'd get there like that but then the funny thing is is funny. i know exactly what was going through the guy's mind because i have been chased believe this or not a time or two by the police on a motorcycle Shocking. <laughs> and <laughs> when you're riding something like that you're always looking for the next gear so you hear him go me 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 and he keeps yeah, just hoping it. there's another yeah, one and, there, and there ain't yeah, <laughs> yep. that's it yeah and then you're looking for a left right left so they can disappear yep. from him yep so but he he did what we used to do just duck off in a trail and then you know yeah. you see the cop out there you know takes his hat off throws it on the ground you know what i mean just, uh, just kicking dirt just, just gotta wait there until the guy comes back out right yep now nah, I, I i love doing all that god I'm, I'm a delinquent all right well thomas yo i see your subaru is outside all grown up yeah it is. <laughs> finally so no, there's gonna be no more minivan comments but you can put a lot of soccer balls in that one yeah i can but it looks good. Dude. Tell the audience what you got, because I happen to like it. I got a uh, a brand new uh, Dodge Durango Blackout, mm-hmm. and uh, it looks good. Pretty too. badass. Yeah. yeah, very very nice ride. Now, does that mean the Subaru is no longer coming back, or is no, it no, come it's back coming and get back. sold? Uh, it's it's going to come back, and I'm going to drive it for a while, and uh, yeah, ultimately it'll get sold because the Camaro will take its place. Um, what do you want to get for that thing? For what the uh, Subaru? I don't know. I, I mean, I think it'll. It'll probably bring 17, 18 grand, something like that. What year is that? Eight. 2008. Should it be reliable? Oh, it should be. 
And how much, how fast should it go realistically? Um, if I'm going to sell it to somebody, uh, it will, we'll probably have it at like 20 pounds of boost. It should go way in the 11s. Okay. What kind of mile an hour? 22, three. Okay. Like that. So it's, it's a pretty good ride. It's yeah. Not bad. I mean, it, it, that's it, a lot for the street. If you anyway. put a driver in it and you turn it up on pump gas, uh, it would probably, you could probably get a 10, 90 something out of it. Ooh. That's pretty I mean, stellar. It makes enough power, but, um, you, you know, you can't have a fat oaf like me driving it. You need a, you know, 170 pound guy that, that can shift gears and I could probably get it into the 11 O's, you know, turned up. Wow. That's pretty decent. I mean, I'm going to do it too. I'm, we're going to see how fast it is. Yeah. So you're going to break it before you try to sell it. No. Cause that's how it goes. <laughs> it, you no. know that, right? You're going to go to the racetrack Take cause it it's easy. for sale and you're going to blow the fucking thing up. Wow. That would suck. Wouldn't and it? that's what's going to happen. It well just, then, I'm not going to do that. I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll we'll just, just put the great we'll, cloud. We'll, we'll roll race. No, you and I. What do you mean? No, I said no. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there's there's Ted's uh, major contribution. My contribution. contribution. Now, at, at some point, our <laughs> never mind. Our fine engineering friend Fud is going to be calling. Uh, well, he's having oh, he's God. having some banter on. He just he Texas. just let you have it. He said. Tom is my Dodge brother because he has a <laughs> Oh, I knew that was coming. Wow. So he, he's going to be calling. We actually want to talk about, um, and we, we probably should have talked about it a little bit last week, and I'll bring this up, and I know it wasn't really on the table for any of you guys to think about. Um, you know, the, the safety stuff. It's um, Safety patrol? No. I mean, like, <laughs> you know, racing safety in general. Like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy that uh, unfortunately got hit in the head with the. Uh, yeah. Some debris. Yeah, and that's that sucked. Uh, that that's something Al wants to talk about, and and he's right. Well, well, what happened? Oh, uh, was an Indy car driver. Yeah, guy uh, about ten cars in front of him drives. Uh, I guess cut a tire, drove into the wall. Um, yeah, cut, I think cut. A tire. I, I think cut a tire. I'm not sure, but he drove into the wall, destroyed the car. He didn't get hurt, but a part of his car flew in the air. It looked like something heavy, and hit a driver coming around in the head. And they do the windshield? There's no windshield. There's no windshield. They're open. Open wheel. Open. IndyCar. Oh, IndyCar. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking NASCAR. No, no. And let me tell you, buddy, when that thing oh. hit his head, that thing must have went up 75 feet, 50 feet. It killed him. It it went up. And Did it kill him in the hospital or on the show? They showed this on TV? Did no, he was in a coma. He died, right. co- I think, a couple days, right? A couple days later. Matter but, of fact, I think he passed on the Monday of last show. I think is when, and I, I don't know if he passed away or they disconnected him, but yeah, he was, he was in a coma. Well, yeah. Prayers, and, prayers for his family. Yeah. Too. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. But you know, I, I guess Fudd's going to call, we're going to talk about it, but you know, I don't know. I don't know what you can do, man. You can't foresee. I don't know if it's ever happened again, uh, before. It happened in uh, formula one. He didn't die, but a, uh, a bolt came off the suspension, hit him in the helmet, dazed him and he drove off the track and wrecked the car. That's way different than dying. That's well, what I mean. Well, he didn't as, die. as you know, but that particular because you've structure, died a couple times. <laughs> that particular structure is open. You, you, the person is open. Yeah. So that's a little different than the rest of these cars, where you have a windshield or something in front of you. Yep. Well, here, here's a problem, and what Alan is going to discuss, or, or I know part of where his thought is, is he wants to take you know a logical look at everything and did figure. You say Alan. Yeah. Wait, logical. Um, <laughs> wait, did you say those two words in a sentence? Yes, I did. All right. But he, he wants, you know, I mean, there are okay. things that First were kind of, there were things that were kind of no brainers, you know, like, I mean, things like, you know, tethering some of the suspension yeah. parts on a car. I mean, yeah. they were no brainers, but mm-hmm. unfortunately it took, it took an, an incident before somebody said, wow, why didn't we think of that? But the whole world's made up of, wow, why didn't we think of that? So it could be yeah. the guy who's the next, you know, billionaire because he came up with post-it notes, you know, somebody's, why didn't we think of that? Somebody White invented out. post-it notes? Yeah, the guy's loaded. Shit. So and White Out. Because I just thought of that. Well, you're a little late. Damn it. So, a- Alan, you know, and, and, and he's they have right. sticky stuff on them? Yes, they do. Damn it. We'll, I'm going to we'll, invent we'll, an iPad. Tom, we'll go over post-it notes later. <laughs> it's right. okay. Thanks. Um, the, you could always come up with different, you know, paths to get to safety. They're like, you look at a part of a car and start to analyze it and figure it out. But there's, there's one overwhelming thing that everybody needs to realize. If you're in an Indy car, to me, Indy car, F1 car, or Sprint car, you, you have to know that when you strap in that car, that could be your last time because they, they are that touchy and they're that vulnerable. I think Open. they call that inherent risk. Yeah. And I mean, you can't, so 
I, I always think about that stupid movie with Matthew Broderick. What was it? War Games? Yep. When the computer says the only logical move is to not play. Yep. The only way you're going to make everybody wow. safe racing. I remember that movie. Yeah. Too. Yep. Is if you don't race. That's the only way racing is fundamentally going to be safe. That was a women's a woman's voice in that movie. That was a fucked up voice. It was like, it was a computer simulated voice. Wasn't a woman though? No. It was okay. Because it couldn't have been logical then. <laughs> God. Oh man. What? This is really going left. What? Oh, we have women listeners now. Well, not our listeners. I'm talking about the other ones. Mm, mm. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Alan is asking. Well, let me get the phone number out because Alan was asking for it. 908. Nine, yeah, oh, go ahead. sorry. You can go, go ahead, Tom. Really? It's okay. Just, just keep talking. I'm sorry. I want to interrupt you, Tom. Just go ahead. He's seven five one zero two one one. Hey, Alan, like us on Facebook. All right, I'm sure he's going to call at some point, and we'll pull him in. Um, yeah, but like he he had brought up some things that I didn't know. Like in NHRA, there was never essentially a substantial firewall on a rear engine dragster between the driver and the motor. You know, like there were things that were added over time. Um, yeah, but that, that's a while ago. Yeah. But I mean, and like, and you know, basic stuff, blower straps, why did it happen? Cause I think a couple superchargers launched Into and the they stands. said, yeah. And they said, oh shit. And that's a long time ago. And actually the blower thing, a blower got up and I think hit a cameraman like 40 feet above the track. Really? I think that, and I think it happened at the summer nationals. And that's a hell that of a detail? mess. That is a hell of a, yeah, detail. But uh, the, the, the top fuel firewall has been there a while. But, well, but, but the fact is, it wasn't. I'm not saying it's not a good point, but it's been 15 years. Well, I mean, a lot of people think that the, the safety rules and regulations shouldn't be reactive. They should be proactive. But how the hell? It's hard. Do, I mean, you, you don't. This is like asking somebody to, to look at engine rules and say, okay, these are all the places people are going to cheat. You're not going to know until they cheat. Right. And, you know, look. I think getting hit in the head with shit, if you're in an open wheel car and there's no kind of real windscreen or protection, that is bound to happen again. Right. It's a likely possibility. Right. But I mean, you can't. But, if you, but if you go to law averages, IndyCar has been running for an awful long time and that has not happened as far as I know. If somebody knows of someone else that's been killed in an IndyCar, Indy Light, any of those divisions by getting hit in the head, uh, I'd like you to call in and let us know that we're you know stupid. <laughs> but i mean even if you even if you uh oh that's well alan. speaking of getting hit on the head we have alan okay we just brought alan <laughs> no and uh and he starts off by uh, saying no yeah uh, people got hit this year <laughs> in indycar <laughs> this year in indycar in the head yeah no yeah yeah i know that but no, no one's been killed is what i was saying well, I, I, do you want to wait till people die well, no, no. And, and, and I, I don't want to be, you know, you know, overly dramatic about it, but like, I mean, shit, we know this is a dangerous sport and people get hit in the head time and time again. We yep. can't have a windscreen, something by rule. They, they'll do whatever we make the rules be. But, and listen, Alan, I, I agree with the safety side of things, especially since, you know, my, my brother does race a race car, not exactly an open wheel car, but you, you can't turn around and just tell everybody, you know, because this happened, we need to make this wholesale change. I mean, what you said makes sense. I, no, I, I, I generally agree, but you know what, you know, uh, half the top fuel cars now have canopies because they want to live. I, I think they're doing that for aerodynamics. Do half of them? Yeah, it's literally half. Okay. I haven't been to a race in a couple of weeks. Alan, months. when did the top fuel firewall rule go into effect? Do you know? Uh, it was, I think, probably a month after uh, Daryl Russell. Or Daryl Russell, was that his name? Uh, he died at St. Louis. What year was that? Because I, I thought it was like 15 years ago. Uh, I don't think it was that long ago, but, you know. 10 could have been. Yeah. I mean, it, it's been a little while. Okay. But I mean, these are, these are things that like make sense that, you know, when you're talking about, no, and, and like, like I said to you, I mean, uh, yes, we can react to whenever somebody dies, but, uh, the Daryl Russell thing, 
Yeah, but uh, Alan, this is this look. Thousand horsepower behind you. Uh, okay, I ag- have a firewall again, and I I agree with you to a point. But hindsight is twenty twenty, dude. It it really is. So I mean, we have no choice but to be reactionary in this because we can't. We can't just pop rules on because somebody says, well, you know, somebody could be driving around and a chipmunk could jump in the brake rotor and lock the front wheel up and, he, and now you need a chipmunk guard. No, you, no, you know what I mean? I, I think that was an option on my Durango. Doesn't, Them little brakes. Yeah. That's why it doesn't work. You know, but there are smart people. And Where? I'm not one of them. Oh, wow. Said I'm <clears throat> Interesting. But there are people that can foresee this stuff. Like, you could not foresee a 10,000 horsepower engine right behind a driver. Well, let me ask you a question. Why didn't you write the letter and say, hey, we need that? I could not foresee it. Okay. Well, it it boils down to uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, people don't, you know, until something tragic happens. You know, you remember when the Formula One car hit the other car and went up and smashed into the bridge? Yep. Like, some of these accidents are like freak accidents. Mm Mm-hmm. Then they're, they're not likely no, no, to no. happen again in that. Fashion. They should outlaw bridges, right? Right there in there. <laughs> no, no. I, they should what? The out, the out, the out. <laughs> but hey, Alan, how are you? This is Crunch. I know it's Crunch. Like he didn't know who that was. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you didn't. Like, you didn't. I can't, you, I can't tell who that is. Yeah, you didn't say hi. How are you, bro? Well, I mean, <laughs> we got to get for lunch sometime soon, but let's get back to the show. Okay. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> no, I, oh, you can't I, pay I for this shit. Don't, I don't care about the stuff that seems completely unreasonable, but there is a bunch of stuff that we can all get together and say, oh, shit, that should have been He's really so obvious. All right. But even you at, know, even like at English Town. Car, uh, yeah. Even at English Town, when that happened, nobody could foresee that that would happen at that speed, the way it went down. That that was really really uh, you know it was it was it was an no, eye opener, but nobody could foresee that. Oh, no, you're talking about Doug Coletta, right? And then they try to change the rule, and they 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 shorten the quarter. I mean, they, that didn't make sense. Well, you know, it, it they thought it made sense at the time, but they, what they always fail to realize is that they always get outsmarted because the brains are not making the rules; they're yeah. they're beating the rules. Listen, inherently, that's the problem here. I know. In- inherently, we've talked about this many times. There, no. There's, there's yeah, a we group. All, we all try to go faster. We all try to, you know, win. Really? But really? You don't. It's not good enough. <laughs> Sorry, Alan. I had to. <laughs> Thank you. That was Tad laughing. Yeah, it was Tad it was. laughing. He was okay. laughing to himself. But no, no, I mean, no. But <laughs> we're all racers. I mean, that's what we do. But. I me, don't me. disagree with dropping it to a thousand feet. I don't drop. I don't disagree with dropping. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, Anthony's racing down the court eighth mile. All right. Well, here here's the thing that that you got to realize. Okay. Um, Anthony is <laughs> Anthony is eighth mile. <laughs> yeah. 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 Here's the thing you got to realize. There's one group of people making the rolls. Okay, and and generally a relatively small group, and there's mm-hmm. a massive group trying to figure out how to leverage the rolls to their advantage. So you're never going to be able to figure this out. You're not going to be able to go from point A to point B without a bunch of off ramps in the middle that they're going to find to to take a shortcut to where they want to be. Of course. That's how it works. And Yeah, no, I I agree. I understand the desire for being more proactive, but I mean, I think the big proactive stuff, most people have taken care of. I mean, they, they. I mean, until there's new technology that you know, there's a new way to solve an issue or a new material or something that you know, th- there are going to be things, but we can't react to every freak accident. Now, look, I personally think watching any car in F1 is like watching paint dry. I know you and fucking the brain trust over here across from me, Tad, will disagree. And- Indy car is paint drying. Period. Uh, Formula One ain't much different except they turn. Yes, they turn uh, right and left. Okay, the boy, it made all the difference in the world to me. Wow. And they used to sound cool, but now they don't even sound oh, yeah. cool anymore. So I'm, I'm not, and I mean, look, from a tech, and I know why Tad, and I know why you like F1, because you like the technology perspective. I get it. Uh, the, the racing, uh, I understand people follow it and people watch it. I think it's terrible. I, I really do. I have seen very well, few good races. That's because oh. you don't watch it. That's why. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. But Whatever, Tad. Mm-hmm. But anyway, what I'm saying is, is that the, these 
the ideas of coming up with all these rules specifically to, I mean, and I know, again, your problem here, I don't know how many people got hit in these open wheel type cars with debris, like in the cockpit, but you know, dude, if you're getting in one of these cars, you could die. Period. End of story. No, and Any car you can I, die, but specifically I, these. I com- I completely understand, but <laughs> there are things that are exactly predictable. And I think this guy getting hit in the head with the nose cone of another car was completely predictable. Hey, can I interrupt for one second, Alan? Yeah, go ahead. 908-751-0211. Will somebody please call us or just like us on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> Alan, I don't think it was predictable. He said nose cone. Yeah. Who says that? Yeah, he got hit. He did. Rocket, oh, rock tears. By the nose he got hit by the nose cone of the car that hit the wall in front of him. No, I, I understand that, Alan, but you're saying it was predictable. Like, you, you, it's like, not. It, it's it, not that, yeah. that was not. I mean, let me ask you a question. This is the first time it happened in many, many, many years. So ha- it, yeah, it you said the first time a guy's been killed by getting hit in the head. As far as I know, I want somebody to call if that's not the case and tell me I'm wrong. But uh, Yeah, no, and I, I agree with Tom. If, if this is the first time, great. Well, is it the first time? Because you you said earlier that other people... No, no. Hinchcliffe got hit earlier this year with the end plate of a wing in IndyCar. All right, what happened to him? And he had a concussion. He came back and raced in. Somebody just texted me that. And, nice. <laughs> okay, well, pray for them. No, <laughs> no, no. no, that, no, no, no it, it's, it's a picture. Sorry, Alan. I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, it's an upside-down helicopter it, in a circle, and it says... Trust me, I'm an, I'm an engineer. engineer. <laughs> so, so somebody's listening and texting us. Hating. They're stabbing at you. Alan. Listen, all, all I'm saying is, is that we, we both, I, I agree, and everybody in this room understands that nobody wants to get killed racing. But this is inherently a dangerous sport. Even, And, you know, I think back e- even to things like, I mean, you know, God, I hate to bring up another guy that passed away, but Lamont. Used to be, you know, hang out at Mike Lewis's. I yep, mean, yeah. what a great fucking dude. He really was a great guy. Did something fucking stupid, from what I understand. Didn't have his belts latched. That's, oh. that's, listen, that's what I've heard. In and his duster, right? In his duster. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Though. I heard his belts weren't latched. Really? Yeah, that's what happened. Okay. But I mean, but you see, here's the thing, Alan. What, the reason I bring that I up. I find that hard to believe, though. Uh, you know, it came pretty pretty solidly and if, if somebody yeah, wait, knows the right. story yeah i wish i please wish, correct I wish it. it would come out you know he's a good friend so he was a great guy i tell you what Ed, I, I heard the story like he was coming through and he was having an attack and he was taking his belt off as he was coming through the quarter all right well let's let's so say that's this. a little different than you know i think that somebody leaving the line with a car that fast and just no 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 top fielders you know, have done no, it i don't think he had i don't think he had his belt <laughs> loose for whatever reason by the end of the track it was already off or coming off which was a bad right. deal. That that's what I heard. Right. Yeah, no, and yeah. honestly, I uh, to, to bring it back, I don't think there's any of us, you know, talking now that really don't understand the danger of what we do. Well, I'd like to make my point. I'd like to make my point, please. Sir. I don't understand. Um, Go ahead. Uh, that that happened to Lamont with the best rules we possibly could have in place, and there's things that you can't account for. So what I'm saying is somebody that wants to be <sighs> proactive would say, okay, we need an interlock that if they're in the car and they're oh. at speed, the seatbelt can't come disengaged until. Or if it does, we have a, a transponder <clears throat> that shuts the, the, the tells, car off. Right. Do you understand? But th- this, but, but Alan, look. I understand, what you're I understand what you're saying. That That's what I'm trying to explain. We don't. You can't foresee every event because it would be like government, wouldn't it? Oh God, don't even turn this political. <laughs> Alan's still reeling over the fact that Trump is doing well. He's well, he's well, beside himself. You, you know I have asthma, mm-hmm. and when I heard that he was sick before he made the pass, that he wasn't feeling well. If he was having an asthma attack or something, he's going to come out those belts during that run, trying to hit the hit the brake. Because I know on different days. I, I'm at the track, strapped in with a jacket on, mm-hmm. and you're like, ah, I'm you're not gonna make the, yeah, I'm not going to no, make the it, pass because it it's yeah. just too much right now, and it's too hot and humid, and I'm I'm out of this car, and you you freak out like that when you're asthma asthmatic like me. So, but but let me ask you a question. <laughs> I don't know the I don't know the, I don't the particulars. Wanna, I don't know what I don't want to say this and that about what happened with sure. LeBron. But if he was because I heard he was feeling, you know, he was very under the weather, and he tried to make a shot. And they said he was having a problem at the starting line. They couldn't get him to come to the line. So it was already something else going on. 
And and by the end of that pass, he was trying to come out those belts. That's what I feel. Right. Now you see that, but that's again that's a this, whole nother, this yeah. goes into the whole the the whole bottom uh, line is hold on, Tom's holding his hand up like he's in class. Yes, oh. Thomas. <laughs> All right, so I just got a uh, a note from one of our listeners. Yep. It says uh, no more nose cone, problem solved. Good Don't. point. Fair point. Yeah. There we go. My apologies. Okay, but well, wait a minute. Explain what a <laughs> nose cone is first. Isn't the guy's feet uh, like basically in the nose cone of those cars? I have no idea. Well, it's a little, it's, it's a little aluminum tub in there. It's but. like a snow cone only with nose. No, it's 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 the direct <laughs> no, front man. of the car. The bottom no, line saying, is. You, some listen, of the listeners may not know exactly what we're talking it's, about. It's the very, it's the car. front, it's the front where two little wing canards are. Right. Very front in of it. Yeah. Canard? They're way over there. <laughs> we're so far off the rails. <laughs> no, it's because, because you're a little goofy. There we go. Put them on rails. Oh my God, uh, Alan! A listener wants to know. Ask Alan how dinner is coming. As <laughs> <laughs> oh, the quiche. Oh, oh guys, wow. hating straight up hatred. I'll give you his name off the air oh. so you can abuse him on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, all I'm saying, look, here's the bottom line: racing is dangerous. Indy sucks. F1 sucks. Nah. Open wheel cars like sprint cars suck. They're and dangerous. What are we saying? What are we saying? We we so, can't. I was interrupting you. Oh, here we go. Jeez. Oh, Go ahead. Go ahead, Alan. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't think there's any one of us, you know, because I think all five of us occasionally race. <laughs> yep. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Come on, man. Keep, <laughs> keep talking. It's dead air time. There are some very, very strong dangers in what we do well, as car guys when you hit any competition. And that, you, you name anything. Or even a 250cc two stroke. Uh, I could be fucked up next week. <laughs> you probably will be. No. You jump over the house. You know this. But you know what? I don't mind if the rules say you have to do this, that, or the other. He's just a rule guy. He likes rules. No, I'm just trying to keep more people alive, man. Well, they didn't ask for it, honestly, yeah. Alan. That's the problem. I mean, then that, and I'm not saying they're not asking for your help. They're not asking for any help. But I mean, if look, something's going to happen, though. Yep, something's something's going to change. I, I understand that, but hear me out on this. Unless the sanctioning body, the people that make up the body, say. Mm-hmm. We need to address the safety concerns that we have. That's when you should start to be proactive and take things on your side. You should be. Look, in this society, when, hold on, Alan. We, I'm not done. <laughs> in in, 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 this, in, this, in this society, overall, self-accountability is required. If you're not safe and you don't like how something's going, you should say something and say and get together and be like, this is wrong. We need to address it. Yep. I have a concern driving this car this way. If you're the only guy, then maybe this sport isn't for you. That so I mean, being proactive and forcing oh. the 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 safety issue down on somebody else, I, I don't think that's the right way to do it. Let these guys police themselves. Tom's holding his hand up again. <laughs> oh boy. I have yes. an idea. We can buy this dot com. If you see something, say something. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? <laughs> me, me. I just made it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's a thing. It's all over the cities. All right. Well, all, all I'm saying, Alan, is I, I understand the desire to, to help save everybody from themselves. No, and I, I do need to go, but you know what? <laughs> we get to make a lot of rules why. for a lot of things. You know, do it then. and safety is important. What? Did and we don't want people to die in this stuff. You don't want it, the quiche to flop? What? It coming. No, and I mean, uh, look, it's it's certainly we don't want to put people in harm's way, but I mean, the I I think that specifically an organizational body like F one or you know IndyCar, you know, they they should be responsible for themselves. If you're seeing people get hit in the head by shit, then they got to come up with a solution. But I mean, the proactive how many, thing. How many? Here's another thing, Alan. They, they, you're forgetting. Go ahead. What proactive role changes? Know what they do? But what do they do? They'll just start making people not bring their head in the race car. Well, no. What what, oh. it, what it's going to do is it's going to drive costs up for various <laughs> forms of Dad. racing. Oh, that, so, somebody just posted on our on our Facebook feed. Freak accidents happen. Yeah, they do exactly. And you can't you can't take care of every freak accident. You can't plan for it. But what I'm saying is, like every time you do something, and granted, an Indy car team, I look at it from a little different side. An Indy car team, an F1 team. If you tell them, hey, look. This is going to cost you another two thousand dollars before you can come back. Big fucking deal. They can certainly handle it. But like, if you said to a local sprint car team, "Hey, look, you got to have this new Hans device, and it's four hundred, five hundred bucks." That that's tough on a guy. Yeah. It it is. True. So you you have to be careful not to legislate to the point where it hurts racing. 
these guys, I hate to say this, but an F1 and IndyCar, they're big boys. They've got their big boy pants on. They knew what they were doing the minute they get in these cars. Oh, yeah. If they're worried no, about they, it and collectively they think it's a problem, they need to police themselves. Well, they they a, need to. They have a driver's no, union for that. The example is kind of, you know, my point. Well, I, I wish everybody would stop worrying about everybody else and people take accountability and worry about themselves. True that. That's what I, that's how I Hey, think. so, uh, so oh, the same God. guy that. I own, at, I own a helmet. I own a fire suit. I mean, I own all this stuff because I want to live, but I want to make. It's because you drive a Dodge. Around me. Hey, Alan. <laughs> Yeah. So the guy that had, that said no more nose cone problem solved, he just asked uh, if the swing set's finished. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not kidding. I, I mean, I I'm can show sure you all this. Kidding. It's all real. <sighs> but you know what that I know it is. But you know what that does show? That's awful. But you know what it shows? Loyal People, listeners. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah they go. remember. <laughs> right. Or a loyal li- yeah. listener. Well, Alan, we thank you for calling. They, they they understand the whole thing. Yep. <laughs> Alan, they're telling us you got to go. Oh, okay. okay. They're okay. whispering. The the producers whispering in our ear. Producers, it's not on my script. <laughs> but um, we are going to talk about the pro stock rules again at some point, and I'd like your take on the injector side of things because that that was a very good conversation, and I think that uh, I think that would that's uh, what we're talking about again. Okay, uh, take twenty minutes, and we'll be good. All right, see ya. Bye bye. All right, bro. <laughs> we can't hate on him because he's listening. You know that, right? Well, I, I, I know you'd hate on him because you just don't yeah. care. Look, I I understand he's got the burning desire to fix things. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he wants to look out for people. Um, Plus he has a good perspective that, you know, a lot of people won't care about, but, so but he has not, that caring side, but you know, the, the whole racing organizations and for that matter, life is worried about everybody that's worried about what's good for me. Yeah, just yeah. stop. If I was racing that car and I saw the cat get knocked in the head, um, and I know what Alan would say. Well, you know, you, you, you can't just put a windscreen or something that's a deflector there because it's going to render your car non-competitive if you're at that level. That's fine. Then maybe go talk to all your fellow drivers. Say, look, I'm not real keen on getting hit in the fucking head. Let's have a conversation about this and maybe get something started for next year. But I, I know what he's saying. He, he says, well, everybody should have seen that coming. Well, obviously the guy who got hit in the head didn't. Right. And obviously all the other drivers didn't. I'm not hating on him, but I mean, I know what you mean. It's you're, you're kind of hating on him. Well, no, because the, I like it. The stuff that has to be you can't get into the past the blame side of it either. Exactly, like, there's no blame. But but when we all know the dangers of it all. It, here's right. a major one that anybody that's ever had a motorcycle will know. If I jump that, will I crash? I won't know until I find until I do it. Right, and you know, it's people or anybody that races, they're taking an inherent yeah. risk, and it doesn't matter if it if it's a street car. Well, I, I try mean, to pass him. Will I make it? You know, how would you be proactive with evil can evil? Well, yeah. that exactly well, like yeah. broken every like bone in his body. You, there's no, <laughs> nothing you can do. I just, I don't like the, this is not safe for you. Police attaching everything. Agreed. And, and it happens. There are stupid rules like here. And you know, I know the New Jersey state police, you know, main guy, the safety guy, he's probably listening. Cause I sent him samples to listen and I'm name I'm, dropper. I'm, yeah. I'm not I'm going to drop his name, but you know, he's listening Stalker. in, in New Jersey, <laughs> meep, meep. we have to have three straps around the fuel cell in the car yep. in a circle track car. Yep. It's stupid. That fuel cell, if that comes out of the car, you know what that means? The back of the fucking race car is gone. It's it's surrounded by round tube and to put the thing in you practically need well, a fuel cell shaped shoehorn. It remember, doesn't fit. Remember Big Daddy Dave just wrecked, you know, how many weeks ago and you see the nitrous bottle shoot out of the car, you know, it's it, Well, that's different. There's, that's not required to be tethered or anything. It should be. But should be, yeah. Right. And like things like you see something like that. Co- now, to me, that I hate to sound like Alan, but that was a no brainer. Bottle breaks, bottles under pressure. When you go into a building, because I've gotten busted by the fire inspector, Jeff is fucking sitting there. It's what he does. The fire guys used to come in. We, we didn't use a fuel pump on our dyno. We used pressurized nitrogen because it, it gave you better stable fuel flow. Nitrogen's inert, worked very well. The cylinder was sitting right next to a girder. Sometimes the chain was on it. Sometimes it wasn't. And the fire guy come in and be like, look, you don't have a chain in that again. You're getting, you're getting fined. Big. And he's right. If that thing ever fell over and the valve got knocked off, that thing's gone. Like a missile. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, now you, you've put that in a race car. Right. I think it should be very well secured in a car. I did see that coming. I did know that could happen. But- I kind of would have thought. Why did you do something then? Well, I figured that, you know. See something, say something. I figured that brackets were. 
<laughs> That'll work, I tell you. I figured the brackets would be good enough. I figured right. that they'd have all this stuff under control. But uh, I mean, obviously, or well, let me let me let me just say this. I don't want to digress, mm -hmm. but to be safer, you need to go to a car show. And I went to one yesterday. All you right, lucky, you lucky you didn't get run over on yeah. the Odyssey show. No, I went to <laughs> I went to the Washington Redskins car show. Oh. So I went to Virginia yesterday, came back last night, went to work this morning. But I had a great time, and it was very, very comforting to be around that many beautiful cars, bikes. I mean, these guys. So is it the Washington Redskins, their cars? Uh, uh, the, the players had some of their cars out. There was a section for the players' cars, and then the rest of it were players' fans. And Got it. Fans, uh, people. Kind of, what does RG3 have? Um, he, didn't, he didn't come out. I think he's hurt. He's one of the players I didn't see. I want to apologize to all the Native American listeners. They're Native Americans. Oh. Because you're not <laughs> supposed to say Redskins anymore. Fuck Don't that. you remember that? That's crazy. Come on. I know you're kidding. Are, are we going to throw a political spin no, but on didn't my they car show? Didn't they change the name? No, input? they didn't change it. No, they didn't change oh, it They yet. said fuck off. Oh, good. All right. right. So. Good for those guys. <laughs> all right. <sighs> I, just, I just thought it was Tad, ironic. Help me, Tad. I, don't I think the Native Americans that. like it. I think they it's do. It's their props. Absolutely. I'm sorry. Continue. Well, the car show was good, man. It was. It was a lot. What of, was your favorite car there? Um, it was a '57 brown and tan Chevy. Really? If you were going to say a '60-something Camaro, I was going to throw my soda at you. So, <laughs> so, so the main color was no. like root beer. Root beer brown, and, and the, the 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 little the, wing on yeah, the on the was tan. Nice. And the interior was just futuristic. I mean, it's a hundred fifty thousand dollar street car because he fired it up at the end, and we were all watching. What motor have in it? I think it's a uh, LS one. If I'm not mistaken, wow, that's it might be a big block. I don't know, but it's fuel injected. It's all it's modern. It's, it's I took pictures. I put it on a, a right. site. Dude. That's that's kind of the direction that you went, right, yeah. Tom? Yeah. yeah, like basically an old car with, with all, all new. new shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, yep. your car was, was that that caliber car. Yeah. Like your Camaro, they had cars like that. Cool, all over the place. I would like to see that. I've been to uh, to a few local ones around here, especially like in the beginning of this going on. There were a couple that I could have went to, and, and Tad, I'm sure, will jump in if we can actually get him to speak a little today. Who, me? Um, he, <laughs> me, me. There, he's, there he's had never mind before. <laughs> yeah, he did. And he did make a quiche comment to Alan. <laughs> um, I don't think Alan heard that. I think he, he heard it. He heard it. He <laughs> just did what we hey, usually he did do. Stop talking about it in my phone. <laughs> yeah. But um, uh, there, were, there were no real like street machine type cars that were done like to newer standards at the show. I mean, I think like when I walked around, it was a pr fairly large show. It was at the uh, M&M Mars Hershey factory um, where they made like <laughs> M&Ms. I think they actually make M&Ms there. Yeah. And very big parking lot, lots of cars. There was this where the, the Honda section was, the minivan yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Um, oh, that's but, where you saw that Nova. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Right. No, no, I didn't see the Nova. I oh, saw right. I saw the Nova of all things. Right. In a parking lot. In a parking yeah, lot. In a Walmart, yeah. Um. But there were no, there were no cool cars like that. You know, Nova was fuel injected. That that was pretty neat. But there were no like fifty Chevys or pickups or whatever with you know like late model suspension and fuel injected motors. There wasn't any shit like that. That's yeah. that's well, what I like. Somerville. This one it. was this one was packed with antique cars of all kinds. You name it. I mean, bro, I saw a lot of crazy. I saw a Datsun two forty Z. Mm hmm. He won a big trophy too. It was yellow with a small block Chevy in it. Yep, and that That's car was, school. you know, it was immaculate. That is old, that is old school. That and, was and, a big conversion I, for yeah. a while, yeah. wasn't oh, yeah. it? Because they're so even, light. I didn't even like them when they were hot. You know? Yeah, and yeah. He, you know, it was an, a lot was, of people did though because it, nice. it looked kind of like a little Corvette. Right. And that small block Chevy conversion kit well, was available a long time ago. Isn't one well, of those guys out in uh, California? He's got a 240Z with an LS motor, and he's one of the yeah, top, top street guys out yeah, there. Yeah, they're big now. Yep. That's right. He was on, wasn't that guy on Street Outlaws? Yeah, yeah, when they did their traveling around or whatever. It was like a 280Z or yeah. something. With the LS1 or something like that. A lot of nitrous, I think, or? Yep. Yeah, yeah I, I think that was, I don't think it was a fuel injected. I think that was a real motor yeah. in that guy's car. But yeah, that's, uh, that, the, I know it was a big swap. And I haven't seen many cars like that in my area. Right. Somerville. Well, you're saying Somerville, but yes. all you send me are pictures of pretty much new shit. No, it's because you're always talking about your vet. I'm like, oh, here's the yellow one. Just like, I don't even talk. That piece of shit hasn't moved in like three days, four days, <laughs> sitting there. And all the Teslas. and. Well, we went down there. We we took uh, both Buicks. 
the Deuce and the Quarter, 1969, and my boy Steve's uh, 68 Skylark convertible. So we drove them down. We drove them in. We cleaned them up. But these these guys down there, they have carpets to put their cars on, uh, a, oh, display, a display machine. Yeah. One, one girl had a, a, I don't know if it was a Hellcat or a regular uh, Hemi. She had a fish tank in the trunk with goldfish really in the tank. Moving what does around. that have to do with a car? Bruh, but we all stood there and looked at this. I mean, you, you have to stand. It's, it's amps, speakers, you know, the typical custom stuff. Yep. And a fish tank with real goldfish. No, I forget who used to do that all the and time. And we're, we're sitting there like. How do the fish feel about that? I, I really don't know. I don't know if that's like goldfish like captivity. I don't know if, you know, animal rights Were they bass or were they bass? See? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, the anim- we, we don't call it animal rights. I don't know. But it was interesting to watch. I'm appalled. I they I, had, they had. I mean, trust me, it was it was mind boggling for me. They had an i8 BMW i8 2015. They are pretty yeah. sharp cars. When he came in, he nailed it. And you didn't hear anything. They're hybrids, aren't they? You don't hear anything. It's electric cars. Yeah. When he when he oh, it was just amazing, bro. So they had they had the, the retro cars, antique cars, the newer luxury cars, Bentleys. Well, wait here well, and there. The players, you know, the players had the, the Bentleys out. When you re- nail a an electric car in neutral, what happens? Um, nothing. Um, okay. I don't know. Same thing that happens but when it was it's just, in drive. It was just a good car show, so I thought I'd uh, mention that. That's yeah, cool. Tad, they, there's there's really a, a good one every week. Uh, I don't know how long it runs, Tad. When does it stop? Uh, Where, in Somerville? Th- yeah. yeah. Why didn't we ever go to it? Um, I'm there all the time. Because I'm relatively antisocial. I, forgot about I mean, that. that's... What, I forgot what about day? That. What Jeff's over there nodding, yeah. What day does it take place? <laughs> well, Friday nights. Friday nights. So you go to all of them? I try to. Okay. It's every week? Every, every that's Friday. where we get all this content from. Yeah, that's where Tad comes up with some of the stuff. Um, the cars are nice. Oh yeah, but he doesn't ever have any stuff. Yeah, but I mean, he 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 does. He that's sends on my website, pictures. But, you know, it's a little different than what we're doing. And like, apparently now that because Teslas are becoming more popular, popular yeah. they have their own little section. Well, no, that there's in front of the courthouse. One group will block it off just for their specific style car. One one year there was all restored police cars, only from the fifties on up, you know, and stuff like that. This That's time it was exciting. Teslas. That yeah, was kind of cool seeing all the black and whites, you know, the old school ones, and they're like retired cops bring the cars and all that crap. But so, just, yeah, a Tesla just burnt down to the ground. Like, I guess it was a big deal with their batteries or something. Did it really? Again, yeah. or that was before? It was one. Yeah, I heard it? about that. Before. I just saw it on Facebook, like you know, two days ago. Yeah, well, really? Facebook's not very trustworthy for not rehashing stuff. Was it on Google? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> two O's. Maybe it no, was I, have, I have that one. The two small O's. Well, that's, that is something pretty big because those batteries are a that, major. Yeah, yeah. That's an issue. It, I mean, I think those are kind of when they start to go. Well, even you see yeah. the thing with the cell phones, when they blow up the batteries yeah. in the cell phone. So you got one huge battery under you on that, in the cars. Are they, are there acid in those batteries? No, they're no, not. They're, they're, they're not lithium. Kids, right? They're lithium, oh, the lithium, but they, they showed people destroying a battery in a phone yeah. and the thing's grenade. If you're trying to charge your phone and talk on it at the same time, that's a bad deal. Really? For those lithium batteries, yeah, they explode and they blow your head off. Well, I don't. I, I use a headset, so I don't care. Now, yeah, I wouldn't try to either. charge your electric cord and drive it at the same time because it's going to blow up and need <laughs> or, a very long cord, <laughs> really long cord. <laughs> um, Let's just look. I'm I'm backyard. I'm going to go on record. I mean, I think they're a neat car, but not right. a fan. I'm not. If I wanted a fucking golf cart, I'd buy a golf cart. Yeah, but I'd move to Florida and buy a golf cart. You see the times that some of these. You're gonna are buy. Doing? A, are you gonna buy a golf cart? Well, we had a golf cart. That's a whole other story <laughs> that we can get into when we broke the frame in half. Um. The, they're, they're a neat car. They're a really neat car. And like the one drove away from me and it wasn't even a hot rod one. I was at the traffic light and all of a sudden this fucking thing disappeared. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Not that, a sound, nothing. Wasn't that a Prius? No, it was That's funny, Todd. You dick. <laughs> no, it was a, it was, it was a Tesla and it, but it wasn't the little sporty looking one. It's the regular car looking No, one. the big car one is the, I think the one with the balls now. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I it's know like, it. It's like a sign of the times though. Yeah. The but, Jetsons coming true. But, you know, dude, I don't want to drive something that I can't pull over and just fill the fucking thing up and keep going. It just doesn't work for me. Right. I mean, look, and I'm well, not. What if the batteries last for like two months? If, One charge uh, in two months. Now you're going to be like, oh, that's efficient. Don't. Listen, if they could get the thing to have a range to be fun, because by the one other little thing they don't tell you, what do they, what do they report the range to be? Like 250? No, I think they're more than that. I think they're at 400, 400 now. Okay, well, if if they dig it to 400, really? which I think Tad is wrong about. I do too. I'm going to call Bravo Sierra on that one. If, Word. if you, me, me. if you're going to drive that hard, 
Well, that, that 400 would all of a sudden become like the same 125. Gas a car that gets 30 miles a gallon if you're on the floor all the I time. can beat the ever-loving shit out of my Corvette. It ain't going to go from 18 to 2. Yeah. You understand? But it seems like the efficiency level with these electric things, you get yourself in trouble. My Lincoln hurt. will do that. 265 max. There That's you it. go. Really? So 260, what the, f- what are you going to do with that? I can go to work and back. Okay. You go to, you go, you go to work and back? Well, you, I, I'm out of state. I've driven with you, buddy. I don't. I don't know if you'd make it that quite that far. <laughs> yeah, I heard you go a long way or some shit. Yeah, it's a scenic route through like what thirty one or something. Know. Take all sorts of different ways. <laughs> all I'm all I'm saying is is that that your need cars. Did he, what word did he just say? Butt fuck. Uh, he Jesus, drives through. Jesus, it's a town of no, when, I had, a list, no, it's East when I had a list of words that we couldn't say. I, well, that list <laughs> is gone. Call The guy was complaining on Facebook. And we took the list. Well, now they well, got. Now, now, about now Allen, we're so. unlimited. We have no no ceiling on it all. And but look but, what we but get. But we don't look say that, right? Look what we get. Andy did it. I wouldn't drive one. I'm fucking things. <laughs> I'm with you, Crunch. <laughs> I, I I wouldn't drive one. I don't care. I mean, I, I mean, I drive one to try it, but I'd be damned if I'm paying for one and to get 250 miles. And I hear but, you. Wait, but so you got bring, four wheels on the Duracell and you hit the road. Yeah, exactly. Let me bring <laughs> up a big thing that we said. You don't pay tax on them when you buy. So them. what? Why really? Why is that? But why, wait, wait a minute. That's hey, going to be the, the there's, there's no sales tax on it. No, so on, on, a, on a fully electric car, you don't pay tax. <clears throat> oh, for the environment situation. Yeah. Oh, they give you a tax break then. Well, you tax break, you don't pay. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, I'll file this right under the same area. I usually put most things. Don't yeah. care. You don't, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> don't care. If they were gonna, if they were gonna give me like some kind of ridiculous tax incentive, like, hey, look, you get to write off the whole price of your car against, I don't know, the green. F- column of your tax return okay maybe i'd be interested but don't care and then what would, what would i do with that thing i mean anywhere you go you got this i uh, understand i don't you, think he cares no you can plug these things in right to a regular 110 outlet and then how long does it take to charge like a month three no. weeks no. not that bad but <laughs> no the thing is where are you driving 250 miles in a day two and a half Dad, did, did, if i was going to drive to bridgeport that's 120 miles there you, know, you go one you way made it back yeah, I'll make it back watching the battery meter and knowing that the guy just that pulled up next to me, I can't even fuck with him. You don't, you don't think Bridgeport has a row of electric car um, <laughs> no, probably, <laughs> stations? Probably not. They're like they, they got a row of toilets. They, yeah, they don't. No, the wow. plug's right behind there. You didn't check. Yeah, but I mean, even the 110 charging thing to get it topped off. I mean, n- n- look, it's I love the idea. It's just not there yet. Can't you buy a generator? Once, yeah, right. Then, well, then no, keep that, wait, the gas wait, can in the trunk, wait, and then there you go. Is, is Alan calling back yet? Imagine. No, he's, he's right. Because remember, if shit. you put a gasoline motor in there to recharge it or anything, you just blew it completely. Imagine if drag racing just goes all the way to electric. Look, it, oh, oh, God, that'd be awful. Man. All, all the electric stuff, it's going to get there. It's just not there yet. Battery technology is the problem. When they get a, a good battery technology, it's good. I think we just came up with the new style. We buy an electric car, take all the batteries out, and put a small black Chevy in. Oh, gosh. That's it. Work it right out. There you go. I'm surprised nobody's done anything stupid like I'm that. I'm not sure. I, Tesla. I bet I you there's an LS1 and a Tesla I, somewhere. I, I bet I think, you. I think we're going to come. We just <laughs> came Prius. up with something just now. You might be right, Crutch. And, and, and that's the guy. You <laughs> tell him, good. say, look, there's your street race angle. Yeah. I got a hybrid with a battery. And they're going to be like, I'll race your electric ass. Then all of a sudden you start it. So I got a, I got a battery. I mm-hmm. wasn't lying. Yeah. You know, it would really change our intro, though, the pro stock intro. Nobody's heard yet. You wouldn't hear anything. Yeah, I know. But you wouldn't hear anything. You'd hear a tire. (laughs) You'd hear like. (laughs) It wouldn't even be an intro with an electric car. No. All right. It would just be Mike going, uh, oh, here we are again. (laughs) Go ahead. Hate on me, man. Go ahead. Oh man, he did, did you see that face? Oh man, they got electric motorcycles. They got electric uh, S10 out there. When when are we taking the power and speed road trip somewhere? Why don't we go uh, this Friday night to Somerville? Oh, it's a, it's a holiday weekend. Is yeah. It? Yeah, I'll be going. I'm going uh, North Carolina. Yeah, somebody ah. told me it's a holiday. What is it? La- la- Labor. Uh, Labor Day? Is Labor this Day. the one that comes? La- oh, I never Last. know. Last. And Alan informed me that I'm drastically antisocial. Uh, no, <laughs> no, excuse me. Way the fuck antisocial. <laughs> Shut up, Alan. All right. Who's got what else? Um, 908-751-0211. Thanks for all his calls. <laughs> we appreciate that. You know, you better be liking us on fucking Facebook if you're not calling. Well, I haven't called right at least, now. but look, no, we, nobody's getting a t-shirt. I'll tell you. We, that. We've had some interaction. It was pretty good. Like know, Alan, Alan got some hatred. That's always nice. Yeah. I, I, sorry. Alan. What's up with our logo? Um, I haven't really worked on anything. You know, our 5,000th like on Facebook is going to get a t-shirt. 
<laughs> do you realize that you're such a douche? <laughs> oh, we, got like, we have nothing. We have we're we're, cl- we're closing in on the thirtieth episode. Come on now. Yeah, this was twenty nine, and we don't even have three hundred likes, and which is bizarre because I'm telling you, like I noticed the a downloads zillion are, downloads. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, I think nobody likes us. That's probably it. <laughs> it might be it. Well, e- you know, either that or I. I don't know. I don't think we exactly leverage the social media stuff like we should. That's Todd's fault. No, it's, yeah. it's actually my fault. And we need some sponsors to come in. You know, we should. High dollar sponsors. We got to work on sponsors. <laughs> we Why? Have, I, I don't know. Because we can. We have enough download yeah, power. We're, we're Listen, down. I am like Donald Trump. I don't need anybody's help right now. When I need you, I'll let you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, we, we, I, we I just want to let likes. them know. We want to let them know. A million dollars a pop. Let's go. Oh, for a million dollars, I'd do whatever they wanted. <laughs> I'd, I'd advertise. Don't say whatever. You know. No. Tad blow it out. No, I don't no, care. No, we have morals. No, no, no. We have morals on the show. Let's go. We do. We don't. We took the list away, but it's okay. You can say butt fuck and all that crazy <laughs> stuff if you need to. <laughs> we can say it makes, you, it makes you feel better. <clears throat> all right. Um, what we, if, we have a guest in the back that's making some kind of noise with no, his phone. I, it's my phone in my bedroom. Oh my god! Apparently, so I, I put my phone on charge. So production. Mm-hmm. I don't know if anybody can actually hear that. I'm not here. I don't. I don't hear it. Oh, that's a cell phone. <laughs> yeah, it's a cell phone. Yeah. It's, an, it's in my bedroom. It shouldn't have made any noise. It's like a default ringer. I hear that thing's electric. All right, who's, yeah, got, who's got what else? Warren Johnson's selling his carburetors. That is what I was hoping you were going to bring up because <laughs> <laughs> I found that pretty interesting. Ten, it is cool. 10 sets? Uh, 40 sets. 40 Oof, sets. How, yeah. much, how much for a set? You know, sadly, I don't know. There were no prices. I think you got to call them, but- uh, Is I that will, because of the rule change now? So yeah, he has no- He doesn't need them, but, but you know they're good carburetors. Right, but and but well, who, not for pro stock. I mean, right, but who would need them? Well, there's a lot of pro fast, mod stuff. Yeah, like pro that, mod but. fast dragsters. You know, the the fast dragster set. They all, the most of them run carburetors. Man, who would need that much precision? The comp and all that stuff. Listen, yeah. comp eliminator. Yeah, they, they yeah are those guys they'll just take, as serious. Take those carburetors. Hell yeah, at that price, just as serious to get one number and that's it. Not go faster. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, and and no. the cool thing was they're all serialized and. uh the article stated that, you know, he's got the pair that were first in the sixes. Um, he was first in the s- sevens, maybe. He was the first over 200. Um, you could see people buying them, putting them on their shelves in their den or something. Well, yeah, like some people yeah. would. Yep, yep. I would Mike? think they would be collector's items. Probably. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. Um, I, you know, while we're doing this, I'm going to Google and see if prices came out. I want to know what they cost. See, I would have thought while we're talking about it. And, I just and, need one. I and we said no, set. there was no pricing, blah, blah, blah. I would have thought Thaddeus would have Googled it, but. Oh, nah. You would have thought that, yeah. He was just sitting there with that nobody home look on his face. <laughs> and with the big. Uh, no, but this, this. I did think that. Computer with the protective everything around it. This yeah. this does tie in, and that's exactly why the electronic fuel injection stuff. Unfortunately, one of the things it did to all the people that did pro stock carburetors just like oh fuck yeah <laughs> you know yeah bob book is ready to kill somebody and yeah i mean and that happened when nascar went to you know fuel injection yeah. all the carburetor guys like yep. oh fuck <laughs> you know now a what? lot of money yes and you know and i did and this is just while well, tom is looking that up but just a little sidebar i was very surprised uh tad will know this tom will know this crunch probably doesn't because he's not exactly a nascar follower um nascar went away for, apparently from flat tappets really uh, that then, roller, solid roller? Yeah. Um, oh, I was well, in cup. It. Yes. But see, you didn't know either. I didn't know that. All right. Well, I know this because I talked to my buddy at Jessel, and mm-hmm. when I, I hadn't talked to him in a while, uh, a racer friend of mine needed some rockers in, in an emergency. He's like, can you call and see if there's anything you can do? And I said, sure. I, so I gave the guy a call in the morning, and I asked him, you know, just like same thing I asked Tom, you know, how's the company doing? I said to this guy, how's the company doing? He's like, great. He's like, the, the roller lifter thing's great. And I said, why? And he's like, cup. And I'm like, what? Mm. You imagine all the people that, you know, like, again, that's a whole, you got a devoted section of industry for this one stupid thing. And it works yeah. for only this yep. one stupid thing. Yep. Like, I have a shitload of useless flat tap of knowledge <laughs> like, like it didn't belong with cup anyway the knowledge i had but flat tap of cams in general worthless i mean it's it's pretty much gone it's old school like you right. know i'm one step away from tad's hit or miss engines in a fucking museum that's what happens <laughs> that's what's happening with carburetors i, I can You're right I, I can ask you what, what what the hell's a diesel yeah what the hell's a diesel yep i remember somebody said who was that nitrous pete said that 
Pete Problem Wyshynski? Sucks. Yes, it was. I, I said, Pete, you've got stud mounted rockers, dude. You need you need Jessels. What the hell's a Jessel? And he's looking at the the catalog. He goes, What the fuck's a Jessel? And I'm like, Oh my god, that that's a true story. I still get that from people. Wow. What do you, yeah. what'd you find? No nope, um, no pricing, but yeah, he's got the first pair in over two hundred. First pass pair in the sixes. And oddly enough, you know, I I, I should have remembered this, but um, in the end of the article, he said that they're going to be eighty down right from jump. Eighty thousand. Oh, yeah. 80 horsepower. Oh, wow. I think I said that I didn't think they'd be as good. Yeah. Um, so they, they all figured it out. You said they'd be better. Are you saying, are you saying they're going to be 80 horsepower they're, down until they do the research and develop? Oh yeah. Until yeah, they do it. Yeah. I, I, oh. first off, I, I don't think they're going to be 80 down. I think they're going to be a little down, but I don't think they're, the good guys are going to slow down because they took the scoop out of the air. I think that's, that's huge at the speed they're going. I think that aerodynamic improvement is huge. Yeah. As long as they get a decent intake now. Uh, I think that because it's an air-only intake, I think they can do that just fine. Um, Alan said, uh, Thomas, I think this is directed at you. Oh. Uh, he wants 4 k uh, much less than he paid. $4,000. Yes. For 4K. a set. For a set. For a set. That does sound that's, pretty cheap. Yeah, he cheap. expects to be uh, 80 horsepower down. That's what Warren said, but Mike said they wouldn't be, so. I don't. I don't I'm going to go with Mike. I'm going to go with Mike, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was Warren. We're going to see. Was when will we know? When they run, make their first runs. And when, yeah. was, when is that? After you want, the winter. You want all yeah. the question, answers. Right, so you? I'm saying. When is. When is beginning of 2016. Yeah. February. February they're going to start off. February? Yeah. Yep. Where? In California? Yeah. Winter now. So no records broken anytime soon in 2016. I'm going to go to that this year. Really? Yeah. We all should go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I go, I go to the Winter Look, Nationals every year. I, I, here we go. I'm going to alienate a can whole you, section of the country rent? again. Fuck California. <laughs> I ain't going there. Well, he's going to rent. Can you rent a, uh, you know, you got the hookups. You know, you guys with all the Apparently big, I got big the money in, under the pillow. Well, I got cousins uh, out there. So. We want a four door Porsche. Power and speed, I think we'll look good in one. So you and that fucking on that. Porsche. Dude, work, he, work you mean out there or to drive out there? Because I'm flying. My guy made him buy it back. Uh, but once we're out there. It could be a road trip. Road trip. All right, well, I'll meet you out there and we'll get a Porsche when we're out there. Hang on a second, guys. This is important. Yes, Alan, you're back. Yeah. No, no, it, it, I just. <laughs> oh, my God. What happens in that? Thanks head? for calling. Thanks for yeah, calling. Later. <laughs> <laughs> That's what should happen. Meet me. <laughs> Got it, Alan. All right, Alan, go ahead. Try it again. Take two. Oh, sorry. I just figured I'd call back in after we were talking about Pro Stock. Yeah. How did you. Where'd you find a carburetor thing? Um, somebody was asking to buy carburetors that I know. Okay. That'd be Jeff. And what, you asked? Not Jeff. Well, yeah, you couldn't use them anyway. You'd have to use fuel injection. <sighs> Alan, no. did you just make up $4,000 just because? <laughs> no, there's lots of places you can run these cars. Just not the NHRA. Yeah, RHRA. The AHRA? No. SHRA? Well, don't tell us your secret, bro. <laughs> Thanks for calling. <laughs> Match racing, shit like yeah, that. No, oh, yeah, no, there's there's outlets for them. I mean, there's definitely. But listen, while while I got you on here, I got to ask you one thing. <laughs> What'd you make for dinner? No, that wasn't what I was going to ask. Oh, come on, Tad, knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I the, from the fuel injector side, you had a perspective. Did I, did I fix your effed up point of view on the fuel injectors? Did you, did you, or do you still disagree? No, really. I, I literally think it's just, you know, Holly stepped in and said, we're going to run your fuel injection system. Yes. It's just, it's just welfare for Holly. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah. Well, cause they're going to get rich off the 16 or 20. No, it might be field. 19. Yeah. No. It might be 19. No, no. Okay. Stop that here. We're, we're going to, we're going to have a little discussion because it's the inverse. Holly's paying to have that stuff yes, in there. Yes, absolutely. This without, is without costing Holly money. Yes. As a matter of fact, probably the person that did this would have to answer <laughs> to Mr. Holly but yeah, and be all, like. In all fairness, they didn't do all of this. Joe Holly. And not come out of it buddy. millions it's of buddy. dollars buddy. in the end. Buddy Holly. No. Uh, we, we definitely know they're but, going to profit with millions of dollars with the word Holly. Yes, everywhere. but let me give you a little bit of background here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Alan would like you to be able to run any fuel injector to be able to get there. You know, to be to be able yeah. to compete, but in our last, but you see now, hold hold on, this, you you went you went in depth with that, All right. and how that could be a bad hold thing. on. Now you see, Alan's like, yeah, of course, okay, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna 
I'm going to try this again. No, that was a good Alan in, in, impression. Let Mike hate first, and then you can all hate. He's him. hating. No, I'm I'm not hating. I'm just going to try to make make a, a a rational argument for this. All right. He's going to point out why you're wrong. Yes. Go. All right. If if NHRA is dictating what injector they could use, like you just said before, Alan, maybe they're being proactive because what's going to happen here if a guy can go to an F1 team and say, hey, develop me a fuel injector that meets the specs, and wow, I've picked up 25 horsepower. Yep. That guy spent $500,000 and $1 million to develop that set of eight injectors, and he's the only guy that has it. I'm not talking about your friend that wants to go with the set of Bosch's that he got off eBay or Craigslist. I'm talking about this guy now, because you, like you admitted yourself. No, no. And, uh, Stop. Honestly. The, I, I'm going to mute you. Go. Do it. Okay. <laughs> the, the guy, Stop. the guy that's going to come in there that knows he's not going to qualify. He understands. He got a set of injectors from Craigslist. His car runs. He can make a pass. He can get close. He can have fun. Get it. That's not the guy that's getting hurt. The guy that's getting hurt is the maybe the top 10 pro stock guys that are really trying to do this for points, but don't have 500 to a million dollars to spend on fuel injectors. So what you would like to do is give the guy with the Craigslist fuel injectors the availability to get there and race but fuck everybody else except the guy that can spend a million dollars on injectors. Is that the world we'd like to live in in pro stock? <laughs> and that's exactly opposite of his line of thinking on everything else on earth. We don't need to go into that right Sorry. now. Sorry. That's, that's, that's a different show. My bad. Quiche? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for calling. I got the... <laughs> I got the feeling, Ted, the next thing it's going to race you is going to be a Dodge pickup if you keep it up. <laughs> All right, Alan. Yeah. Please, please, let's have a retort from the retard. 45 seconds. Go. Thanks for calling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to gr- <laughs> Go ahead, Alan. A- explain the fuel you injector. You got to cap thought. that. You got to cap that sound. Let Alan explain the fuel injector. Go. Thought. No, I actually agree with you. <laughs> Don't. Oh, what are we doing? Uh, Thanks for calling. <laughs> oh, I think we're done Completely here. Completely off the rails. I think we're- <sighs> Alan, you were supposed to argue the point that you argued with me before, not say I agree with you. Or did I do that good of a job? My apologies. <laughs> oh. He hung up. No, he didn't. He should have. No, did I? I mean, why did you not disagree with me this time when you didn't before? And in the beginning of it, you said you disagreed. No, I mean, it's, <laughs> I got five it's messages. Point. This is all going to be hatred. Oh, Mom, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh. No, it's actually a valid point. You know, they're, they're, the, the big teams can just go to town on research. Okay. But, you know, do we need the little teams to get told, you know, like you must buy X? Now, yes, you do. Because it stops. Listen, I see this is this is a mental problem that people that think the way you do. And I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not. And Tom, look, you guys don't fuck with him for a few minutes. Let me just talk to him. The, the I, I see Tom's fucking primed up. His lips are fucking ready to start flapping. I can see it. Thanks for calling. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, Christ. But no, what? Um, what? What? <laughs> listen. The this is what's wrong. Certain people think this way that, oh, well, this has to be so fair. We have to give this guy the advantage. But that thought of giving the advantage is what fair? makes the sport worse and worse and worse and costs more and more and more. I, I, I want smart people to be able to find the advantage. But Alan, you can't hold what part I want. Listen, th- this I'm going to go back and, and I'm going to hate right on all these fucking people. I don't care. Douchebag Dave Adams for Bridgeport Speedway. Tom and I worked a, a while with with World, mm-hmm. Callies, yep. Manly, yep. to put together a dirt spec big block motor. Yep. We worked. We built it. We raced it. Brian drove it. Bob Sarkeesian drove it. Thought it was great. And it was a good piece. Because a guy thought he knew better than we did, he kind of went to recon to get something made that was now going to be a wet sump piece of shit. I mean- but what happens is, Alan, no, certain, hold on. I don't want to be beholden to you and Tom. And No, you weren't. There's, there's your problem, douchebag. There's your problem. 
There's your problem. Whoa. Whoa. There's your problem. Yes, Beholden. Beholden. There's your problem. Because here's what happens. The reason you are beholden is to Manly or to World or to Brodex, who is going to make the cylinder head, is the same fucking reason that a class like a 358 small block class that says you got to use this head, this piston, uh, this rod, cast car. There's a lot of series that yep. spec all the parts. You know why, Alan? Because it stops exactly what you don't like in other aspects of your life. Big money influencing exactly. what happens. That's why the fuel injector thing, a new technology thing like this, huge, huge, huge fucking problem. I didn't think huge. I don't think he saw that the the guys with the big money could actually influence an injector the way you until you huge. explained it. So now that he sees that, he has and, a different and, but, opinion. But you so see we this, have to respect but, that. We respect that. But Alan, you have to understand if if you did this like if you said, Well, a guy's beholden to Holly. Yeah. Because if I wasn't beholden to Holly I would call up McLaren and I'd be like, listen, here's what the fuck I need. This is what I need. I needed to do this. And then, so now you're in pro stock racing. Now you've got, think of all the different packages and combinations you could have. You could have a guy with a McLaren computer with these injectors from, I don't know, Renault or whoever, yep. you know, you can end up with shit so fucking out of control that what you wanted to do is save pro stock money. Now you cost them an extra half a million dollars because you wanted the guy that bought Craigslist injectors to race. And that's it's lunacy. And that's usually how it happens because the guys making the rules are not as smart as the guys breaking the rules. They did a good job this now, time. They did. That's a good they t-shirt. Did. That's a good t-shirt right Worth. there, Tom. That, that's, it's, and it's true. <laughs> they did a good job with well, what they did because they locked it down. Will there be holes to be punched in this? I'm sure. They're already. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure people have already come up with other stuff. Like and, and Tom probably, you know Tom probably said it right. They're, they they found the holes already. Yeah, and I I understand both sides of the argument, but you know But Alan, but here's the bottom line. Your side is asinine. Sorry. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to tell you. Your side is asinine. You, you want it you would you would cost NHRA Pro Stock a, a competitor. You that. would cost him Let's say another hundred thousand dollars in order if he won and fuck your guy who wants to go out there and just have fun. You got people but your guy out there to have fun with a Craigslist injector is out there jerking off while other people are trying to actually race. So the guy Dude, that's only your blood, invested your blood pressure, bro. Shut up. So the guy's <laughs> he was the, telling us not to hate. The, the yeah, guy that's a, no, this is a normal conversation for Alan. I know. The the, the guy that's already invested. Yeah, there's a reason why I haven't hung up. This is normal for me. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of normal, <laughs> believe it or not. The, the the guy that's invested half a million dollars to make a, a reasonable pro stock run at things doesn't need his footprint increased you know, uh, another half a million dollars because some fucking jerk off who wandered in off the street managed to hit on the right fucking retard in an F1 place that can make him an injector. Oh, I said retard. No, and mm. <laughs> that's all you got out of that is I said retard. <laughs> Keish. I understand where you're coming from. It's Alan. <laughs> thanks for calling. <laughs> Christ. Uh, thanks for calling, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you, you're killing them, dude. What, what do you want me to do? This is our buddy, Alan the Engineer. I understand, but this he, is... You're drilling the point into no, no, him. So there's a reason why I... Now, I'll let you go. I want... <laughs> All right, push the button. <laughs> Any button. All right, All right Alan. Alan. We got to push the button. I'll talk to you later, buddy. Thanks for calling. <laughs> dude, uh, you're killing them, dude. dude because you, it's... Dude. Look, it's asinine, bruh, dude. Bruh, come on. It's a, but but this is but look this is like you're making me feel bad. It's like talking to go wood. outside and get a hammer <sighs> out of the garage and just hit yourself in the head and then let me write you a, a sign that says crunch. Do not hit yourself in the head and hammer and then go out there and do it again. That's yeah, that's, that's kind of what it's like here, dude. That's what bothers me. Mm. This was, you mean talking to Alan? Well, yeah, because yeah. look, the, look, I under look. Big lesson for everybody listening. Imagine and what yes, his blood pressure is right yeah, we, now. We, no, my blood pressure is long fine. past an hour. Alan and I go through this. We go I through know. it with politics. We go through with everything. We have to wrap it up. Man. We have We're to wrap it up. We're way past an hour. All I'm trying to say is that. Is Mixler still going? Yeah, it's still going. And people, now somebody's going to hate. Now going to hate me. <laughs> Mixler people. I can't. Get thanks, a, thanks for listening. Thanks for calling. <laughs> Can I get a thanks for calling? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> uh, that was pretty fucking good. Yeah, that guy's got to get a T-shirt. Uh, I got to, buddy, I got to get your information because you got to get a T-shirt no matter what. He's, well, yeah, and we got to get a logo. We got to get some T-shirts. Yeah, we got to do that. Uh, I, that's, let's try and do that. All right, we'll, we'll try to get on that. All right, anybody got anything else? I'm sure Alan's probably beating his cat or something. Yeah. <laughs> Crying uh, and beating his cat. Does yeah. he have a cat? Dave does have a cat. Oh, multiple. God, figures. All right. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Uh, I couldn't even catch up with that. Thanks for coming, Jeff. <laughs> yep. Yes, Jeff. Sitting there, studio audience. We have a studio audience. Yeah, we're so, really fucked up. That, that was it? the guy texting, you know, on, on <laughs> our power and speed. So <laughs> he wasn't the only one. We had a uh, bunch. Uh, yeah, but he was the only on inside. So. Oh yeah. Well, he did have an inside track too. All right. Well, uh, we'll see all you guys next week. Thanks. Later. <laughs>